Welcome back dear students. Today's lecture we are going to learn two important topics. Number one is estimation. Do you know what is estimation? Estimation is about predicting your answer just before solving it. With estimation we are going to learn addition and subtraction by decomposition method. Decomposition is breaking a number into its parts just like 649 it in 600s plus 40 plus 9. Let's start. We are using Cambridge Primary Maths Learners Book 4, exercise 3.2. Let's start with part B first because addition is a bit easier than subtraction. Let's understand what is addition. In part B, find the sum of 376 and 219. 376 plus 219. Look carefully, 376 will be rounded to 400 plus 219 will be rounded to 200. Then we add 400 plus 200 is equals to 600. Do you know what is this 600? This number is telling us that when we add 376 and 219, we will get a number that will be rounded to 600. And for actual calculation, we will use decomposition method. Let's see how. Here we break 376 into 300 plus 70 and plus 6 and 219 into 200 plus 10 plus 9. Now we will add them. When we add them, we got 500, 8 tenths and 15 ones. Altogether 595. You see the yellow highlighted answer. 595 is our actual answer and our estimated answer is 600. See how estimation helps us. Before calculation, it predicts us what will be our answer just before calculating it. Now let's move on to question A, which is subtraction. Calculate 607 minus 391. Again, we will estimate our answer first. 607 will be rounded to 600 and 391 will be rounded to 400. Here we got an answer of 200. And it shows us that our answer will be anywhere that will be rounded to 200. Let's move on to actual calculation. It's a bit tricky. Look carefully. I just wrote our old school method of subtraction vertical method. You can see that 0 cannot be subtracted from 9. So I borrow one number and 6 will be turned to 5. See what happened now. 6 hundreds become 5 hundreds and 0 tens become 10 tens. And 7 remains the same. Now we can decompose it easily. 500 plus 10 tens means 100. 110 is 10 and 1010 is 100 plus 7. In this method, we need to decompose a number as we want it or as per our requirement. There is no hard and fast rule. See, when you add 500 plus 100 and plus 7, it will be become 607. So we just decompose it as per our requirement. 300 plus 90 and plus 1. Now subtract, we got 216. As usual, our estimation is very closer to our actual answer. It's a new concept. You just need practice. It will be better with more practice. Let's start with question 3. Moving to question 3, I would say if you have any confusion regarding rounding, you can watch my video. There is a simple video which will clear all your doubts. Link is in the description. Now let's move to question 3. What is the difference between 345 and 67? Here are two parts. One is two digit number and the other is three digit number. When there is a situation like this, you will move to the least one. Two digit number means rounds to tens. So we will round both tens in tens, not in hundreds. So 345 will be rounded to 350 and 67 will be rounded to 70. So 350 minus 70 is equal to 280. That is our estimation answer. We will decompose like 200 plus 130 plus 15 and 60 plus 7. Then we will got our answer 278, exactly almost equal to 280. Please like and subscribe to continue. Let's start with some problem sums. Asif needs 355 chairs for a school concert. He has 269 chairs already. How many more chairs does he need? Total 355 he needs, tier 69 he already has. So we will subtract 269 to know the left chairs he needs more. The answer will be 86. He needs 86 more chairs. In this question, you just need to add the weight of apple and banana to don't their all together weight. So 130 plus 210 makes 340. Piri had 469 stamps already. He has collected 137 more stamps. Now how many also? 469 plus 137. 
makes 606 so he have now 606 stems see in this question Bashir is thinking of a number if I subtract 16 from my number the answer is 95 we will simply add 95 plus 16 and we will get an answer 111 is the number that, is uh, that Bashir is thinking this question you ask when you add two two digit numbers you will get a three digit number or a four digit number the biggest two digit number is 99 and when we add two 99s together we got 198 means a three digit number no four digit number hope you just enjoyed today's lecture as well thank you for watching